Well, hello there and welcome to another training nuggets. In this video, I'll be showing you on how to put a picture on my background or a loom video. So let's get started. Well, Loom as a desktop recorder has quite a number of functions to make sure that your video show up with the highest quality as ever. To get your Loom application, just log on to loom.com to create a free portal and download for your desktop or as a browser plugin. I have already installed my Loom Chrome extension for this purpose. So logging into my workspace, I can tell that I already have two videos. So to create a video that has a background, I'll navigate into my Loom extension, click on it so that I can record, and a flyout menu will pop up asking you to customize the Loom application to suit your needs. You can decide to record a full screen. You can also use your camera and even change the different types of cameras that you already have on your computer. And in case you need to change your microphone, if you're using external or internal computer microphone. Well, to change the background of my recording option, Loom has provided a section below here that helps you to maneuver and make some adjustments to the visuals. I have the effects, the blur, and the canvas. To set a background, I'll click on the canvas option and I'll be prompted with the number of text layouts, background, and templates that I can use on my recording. For the template option, in case you are in a meeting or you need the news effect, then this template option works best. If you only want backgrounds, then from the background section, we have a variety of backgrounds that you can choose from. From the splash, gradient, rainbow, paint, flower, or geometric. We also have text layouts that you can use on your loom. Well, in this case, I will select a geometric background. Loom will now show me how my background will look like. Notice that from the flyout menu, I still have the ability to choose any other background. Notice that I can also select the background option by selecting the background. And of course, a variety of backgrounds will still pop up from this section. I can decide to have a text layer option where I can click and add in the text on the different sections of my screen. And I can also choose a template that looks exactly the way I want it for my video. This makes it very easy for me to convey a message when I am using Loom Screen Recorder. I hope this video has been very educative and if you liked it, hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next nugget.